I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Doyan Pak, the CEO of BiFi Finance. Doyan, welcome to the show, and it is a pleasure to have you here today. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Ashton. I would love to just kick off the interview by learning a little bit more about BiFi Finance, the overview and the focus, and BiFrost, and, and how those two platforms are interacting with each other. Okay, uh, first of all, BiFi is a DeFi, DeFi platform uh, based on BiFrost. Uh, well, Bi BiFi seeks to build the financial infrastructure that connects all financial market of every blockchain, which is you know fragmented right now. And in recent years, uh, DeFi has emerged as a system that automates the flow of assets with smart contracts, like allowing cryptocurrencies to be traded, borrowed, and leveraged. And in short, you know, DeFi can realize the potential of cryptocurrencies, and we are working to lay the groundwork for the future of finance. And you know, but the fundamental of the uh, limitation. The fundamental limitation of blockchain right now and the DeFi right now is the lack of interoperability and scalability you know, between mm -hmm. different blockchains. Uh, to solve this, we are focusing on enabling uh, interoperability and among all blockchains and connecting all crypto financial markets. And that's what BiFi is and also uh, the basic technology is BiFi. Well, I'll explain more if you ask you know, some other questions. Definitely, and I think that's a great introduction, Doyen, mm -hmm. and interoperability is definitely uh, something that needs to be worked on right now, and I'm glad that that's part of the focus, and I will ask a little bit about that uh, in a short while here. Now, in terms mm -hmm. of the platform functionality for BiFi, um, can you just talk about where you're at right now? Is it live, and what kind of functions in terms of decentralized finance are you able to uh, achieve as a user of the platform? Mm -hmm. Well, BiFi is uh, you can you can go to the website app.bifi.finance and you can try it. It's better by, right now, but uh, it's fully working. And in BiFi is a lending protocol like Aave or Compound. So okay. if you have ever used Aave or Compound, it's very easy. Uh, and uh, we have three services: lending, pooling, and uh, staking. Okay. Pooling is well, pooling is you know, user can borrow and deposit against their collaterals. Uh, user can earn interest on their deposits as well as buy five tokens as incentives. Mm -hmm. And pooling, it's simple. You can provide liquidity to a uh, buy five eat up pair or BFC eat up pair and get incentives. And on, st on staking, users can stake BFC token and get buy five as an incentive. Uh, well, actually what's next on our roadmap is multi-chain lending and wallets. So uh, gradually, we are planning to add more advanced financial services like insurance, funds, derivatives, and DEX. So we're going to do lots of things from now on. And, Definitely. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so um, it's great that you have those multi-chain lending. I think that's going to be a, a competitive advantage. I'm curious, you mentioned Aave and Compound. Those platforms are really large right now. I'm not familiar with how much they have focused on interoperability per se, but mm -hmm. is that what you see as one of the unique competitive advantages of BiFi, or do you also have other competitive advantages compared to other DeFi and lending platforms? Mm -hmm. Well, the most important differentiation of BiFi is simple. Uh, you know, as I told you lots of times, multi-chain technology mm -hmm. uh, will become the truly first uh, multi-chain DeFi projects that enables financial exchanges between different blockchain protocols. So, um, okay, utilizing the power of multi-chain technology, BiFi will not only connect to Ethereum or BSC, you know, Binance Smart Chain, which you know, as it is right now, but you know, also like Polkadot, Clay, and ultimately Bitcoin. You know, connecting the entire fragmented DeFi ecosystem not wrapping it, not breaching it, we're going to connect it directly. That, mm -hmm. That's our, you know, the most important differentiation of uh, BiFi you know, comparing to others. 
Very cool. And you mentioned Binance Smart Chain there. I was reading that you've already integrated with Binance Smart Chain, and a lot of the platforms are based on Ethereum, and there is some congestion there. But it seems like the net mm -hmm. they have the network effect for you know the most mm -hmm. uh, decentralized finance platforms. Is there a specific reason that you decided to first go with Binance Smart Chain as the lending protocol? Uh, well, as you know, as Ethereum has grown in popularity, you know, users experience, ex you know, users are experiencing extremely high gas fee, even now, you know, even hitting in the record for the high cost this year. The, the, this limit, uh, how much DeFi can grow? So, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, each uh, blockchain has its own upside and downside, you know, while Ethereum has risen in high transaction costs, but, you know, while BSC allows for faster and cheaper transactions. And, and that's why, and there is also a problem connecting to a different token and other different blockchain network. And, Currently, the only way to trade between other protocol, especially Bitcoin, is the wrapping. But uh, you know, and even with the BSC, you can you can you know use BiFi service through BSC, uh, you know, like Bitcoin. But what we are gonna try is you know uh, connecting it directly. And the the reason that we are connecting BSC for the uh, as a first step is because it offers you know the faster and even cheaper transaction. But, you know, some, some people say that BSC, connecting BSC is not really a DeFi, like fundamentally, mm -hmm. but you no, know, who knows? Yeah, I think there's a balance between centralized and decentralized, especially when you're from the get-go. And there's a reason why Binance Exchange, as a centralized exchange, mm -hmm. is one of the most popular exchanges because of that user experience and easier adoption, lower barriers to entry. So I can see why you would do that. Now, uh, in the platform, you have the BiFi token, but you also have the BFC token. And it's interesting that you have a two token model and you have the interaction of these platforms. Can you talk a little mm -hmm. bit about the differences between them and the functionalities within the ecosystem? And does it create a sustainable ecosystem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very good question because you know everybody asks me about the difference of those two, questions, those two tokens. Uh, ultimately, the BiFrost, is a multi-chain middleware platform. So to use Bifrost, you have to pay BFC. So which means, for example, developers should pay BFC for using multi-chain middleware to develop and operate their devs, you know, based on Bifrost, which can minimize your gas fee and you know uh, interoperate with other blockchains. So BFC is for the token for Bifrost. And BiFi is govern governance token for BiFi service. Mm -hmm. So as BiFi's multi-chain is powered by BiFrost, BiFi will periodically purchase BFC with BiFi and pay it to BiFrost. Mm -hmm. So BiFi should pay by BFC to BiFrost. And fundamentally, as BiFrost begins to support more dApps, because it's a multi-chain middleware, it, it will support you know other dApps other than uh, BiFi. The user will have to pay their fees in BFC. Mm -hmm. And as BiFi service grows, the multi-chain DeFi service fee will be charged in BiFi token. Then BiFi will pay BFC to BiFi. It's, mm -hmm. it's complicated, but <laughs> not that much. Yep. And right now, the platform is in beta, as you mentioned. In terms of early adoption for user adoption, but also for developers, do you see organic growth coming for the platform or how are you going to incentivize developers to develop dApps on Bifrost? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for the developers, you know, basically, I think we are the only one and the first, the true multi-chain middleware. We are not mm -hmm. blockchain. We are not building the main needs of blockchain. What we are doing is just provide the platform to the dev developers so that they can use more than one blockchain all at once. So uh, for, for the developer, it's really hard, but all we can do is we're going to provide a very uh, nice circumstances so that they can use our services and they don't even have to use our languages. Well, we developed our own language, but they don't have to use it. Mm -hmm. All they have to do is they can, you know, 
provide their steps and you know uh mm-hmm. with with our you know uh wizard they can easily use by for and also for the uh by fi user uh, the key element to the user and community expansion is for for us right now is uh pfc bot which is a telegram chatbot mm-hmm. and with that chatbot we have more than like down 90000 wallets connected wow. by that chatbot and if our Byforce wallet, which is multi-chain wallet, is you know, if we provide our service with the Byforce wallet, then they will come to us and they will automatically convert their BFC K coin, which is our like you know, reward for BFC bot, and they'll be our users. So we already have more than like uh, ninety thousand users, you know, in the beginning, and it will grow very fast. It will grow like exponentially. Definitely, and I think that's a great start. Uh, especially with Telegram because it's so popular right now. And to have that in the beta is advantageous. Now, in terms of the next steps for the development and moving towards the mainnet, I know it's there's a lot there's always a lot going on and you know dates aren't always finalized, but do you have a tentative roadmap of what are the next steps uh, mm. to be released and then the road to the mainnet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... We have our roadmaps, and you can you can see it. But you know, uh, for detail, you know, but while BiFi in its initial stages is most likely uh, most like Compound or, or Aave, it's pretty similar because you know uh, it's based on ERC twenty. And even though we connect BSC uh, to the BiFrost, but uh, to BiFi, it's pretty similar. Mm-hmm. And our second phase is enabling multi-chain transaction. And it will create an entirely new set of DeFi products and services. You know, to allow this multi-chain DeFi, we'll also, as I told you, uh, release our multi-chain wallet, and uh, it will expand our ecosystems. You know, regarding Bifrost, the development environment uh, has now added DeFi-specific features in security and QA, and we are planning to open. Um, it's it. it uh, perspective to multi-chain DeFi developers you know, as well as connecting other DeFi projects on Bifrost to grow entirely, to grow entire business as a whole. So they're all set uh, to be re- released this year or at least you know, early next year. Mm-hmm. Very cool, Doyen. And mm-hmm. in terms of when that's released and having developers use it and having widespread adoption of BiFi and the decentralized finance uh, products that are built into the platform, what do you think will be one of the key factors to success that you and your team will need to focus on to achieve that level of success? Okay. Uh, well, there are a few few projects or a few companies that are trying to release you know, multiple ecosystem that connects other blockchains. But by first approach uh, is wholly different from competing uh, competing, it's a wholly different with the competitors. You know, uh, we do not believe that the future of blockchain is one chain wins all game. Mm-hmm. It's like you know we have to uh, grow the pie of the whole industry, and the key to the long term success is to truly connect blockchains. Well, there are lots of blockchain projects newly coming in, which is so great. And uh, BiFi will interoperate among different blockchains and will be able to easily switch to other blockchains, making them truly interoperable, scalable, and flexible. So, you know, our the key factor is going to be the flexibility of our own. And we're going to, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to stop developing and we're not going to stop researching other protocols, you know, other good projects. Great answer, Doyen. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. And for mm-hmm. developers that are looking to learn more about Bifrost and for users that are looking to learn more about BiFi and the lending uh, products and uh, decentralized finance products that you have available already right now, um, what's mm-hmm. the best way for them to get involved with that and to get involved with the BiFi community? Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, you can come to our platform website, which is at bifi.finance or I, I can give you the web- website information. And uh, users can read our Medium blog 
where we update most of our important announcements. And you can also join our Telegram group. Telegram group. You know, I told you we have Telegram bot, and mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, two big Telegram group in the global. Uh, the first one is like just the Telegram group, and the other one is AMA group, so that you can ask anything, and our team member will answer any questions almost immediately. You know, you know, we have lots of members, and mm -hmm. and you know, I can provide the link, and you know, please. Uh, uh, provide the audience after this show. Definitely, Doyen. I will put those links in the description box below. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. All the best mm -hmm. with BiFi and BiFrost moving forward. And let's mm -hmm. follow up in the near future. OK, thank you very much.